I'm Pete, and I'm going to the Arctic Circle. On this! People keep asking me, how do you fit all that stuff on a scooter? Well, you're about to find out. As you can see, there's a simple basic system. I got that main bulky stuff that I usually don't access very much in the day in the front. Center of gravity is low, weight's low, and on top of that, I can keep things under control. In the back, I've got, you know, things that I might need to access a little more often. Now, the details here change, but right now, we've got oil, flip-flops, a bear can, gasoline, and some wet clothes that we're drawing off. A lot of people have said, look, that doesn't look very comfortable. How do you manage this? Well, it's actually not bad. I've spent a fair amount of time riding in a fairly simple standard scooter position just like this. Every once in a while, I need to chill out, bend my knees, relax. That's what the stick's for. It's actually high-end highway pegs. I can just sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. If I'm riding on really rough roads, a lot of times I'll come all the way back up here on my toes and I can actually pop off the seat right like motocross and just crank on this thing. Surprisingly stable and this thing kicks ass in the dirt. Alright, so here's the breakdown. Sweatpants. You never know when you might need those, right? In fact, when it gets cold when I'm riding, I use the sweatpants as another layer. I'll actually put them on between my, uh, my hard shell pants and my long underwear. So that makes it surprisingly warm and toasty. With this, I can get through almost anything. Please. An obvious no-brainer. Just part of the simple layering system for a cold weather. A gas can, as you can see, two and a half gallons. Gets me 250 meters. Mosquito repellent, needs to stay accessible. Oil. Flip flops when I'm chilling around camp. Ah, the mystery. What goes inside the bear can? Well, normally the bear can would have food inside. Right now, it's a little bit different. Let's see what we got. The first thing in the bear can. Toiletries. The second thing in a bear can is, oddly enough, a bear. Why is there a bear in my bear can? You'll find that out soon. Another pair of gloves. You don't want to know how many pairs of gloves I have. Face wipes. Clean up at night. Old pair of busted up goggles. Rain pants. Eh, maybe 30 feet of 550 pound test type 3 pair of cord. Another set of gloves, oil rag, a somewhat non-functional map of Canada, and basically everything else in there is first aid and some random other things. Inside the trunk we have a stuff sack with some random assortment of stuff in it, and underneath the stuff sack there is some oil, some gear oil, Tons of spark plugs and all the tools I need to repair. Now, when I'm riding, I just unhook that, grab this, reach in here, and I can pull out my digital SLR. Take whatever photos or video I want, and then put it back in. Really convenient. The rest of the time, though, I don't usually go in here very much. Aside from today, when I have some probably rotten by now strawberries hanging out in there. I'm sure you really want to know what's actually inside. So, the way this is set up, it's actually quite easy to pull off. Uh, you just unhook the main strap, and then from there, you just pull this entire thing out just like that. Then we set this up, and we can pull the stuff out. I'm going to show you what's in here. Easiest to access. The simplest stuff in here to pull out, obviously, is my tent. Now, this tent is a Big Agnes SL2, a super light tent. I have it packaged in a, a different set of stuff sacks, so a different set of stuff sacks, so that I don't have to have it all in one piece. So you can see three simple pieces that sets up in a two-man tent that I believe you may have seen set up before. Got my tent set up, I'm good to go. Pull out my pack. Everything I need is in here. All right, let's see what we got in here. 
So, first of all, top of the pack, most important. In this, I have my long range telephoto lens and extra battery for my contour camera. Sunscreen, always need that. Headlamp, and a spotting scope, or a monocular, depending on how you look at it. Secondary flashlight, and a pocket knife, because you never know when you need these. Possibly most importantly, it's my spot satellite tracker. As you can see right now, it's blinking, which means it's active, and you can see where I am right now. We go inside here. Now this bit changes depending on really what's going on. The top right now is my e-reader. Sometimes that's in a different pocket. And a bunch of random clothes. The reason why these clothes are actually here instead of inside the clothing stuff sack is simply because they were wet and I was drying them out on, back, on, on the back of the bike yesterday. One of the most important pieces of my gear, my Eddie Bauer down jacket. Uh, these are actually on sale now at Eddie Bauer, and it's probably one of the only things I've ever purchased from them, so give it a try. Another North Face fleece is part of my layering system. My laptop. What else we have in here? Some more clothes. Mouthwash. Some electronics. My Thermarest, uh, a Thermalite Reactor Extreme fabric liner. This is actually really awesome. Keeps me nice and warm and I never have a problem with it. Big Agnes, uh, Big Agnes Air Core. This is my air mattress. It packs down really small but ends up being a pretty big, nice comfy uh, one and a, or two and a half inch air mattress that I can actually sleep on sideways and it's completely perfect. And last but certainly not least, my Suspicious Knockoff sleeping bag in a Suspicious Knockoff North Face uh, stuff sack, which I got in Nepal. This is what I use to set up camp. This is where my random daily stuff goes. This is my spare clean clothes, which today there are no clean clothes, so I don't need to get to it. Now one of the cool things about the Rattler actually is that it has an accessory plug so I can charge my phone on the go. That goes right here and it's absolutely fantastic. Now you know how to fit a whole bunch of stuff onto a little teeny scooter. Pretty wicked, huh?